Today we're going to take a quick look at The Green Knight, starring Dev Patel and written, directed, and produced by David Lowry. This is based on the Arthurian poem Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, although in this movie his name is pronounced Gawain. Does that mean I've been saying it wrong all these years? It's entirely possible. As longtime viewers of my channel will tell you, mispronouncing names is nothing new for me. Anyway, Gawain attends a Christmas feast at the Round Table, which is interrupted by the mysterious Green Knight. He challenges any knight present at the Round Table to land a blow on him and win his green axe. But in exchange, that knight must return to the Green Chapel one year hence and receive an equal blow in return. Gawain takes up the challenge and easily decapitates the Green Knight, but this does not kill him. It does make him a hero in the eyes of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, but one year later, he must return to the Green Chapel to uphold his end of the bargain. And then it gets weird. I have not seen a whole lot of Lowry's work. Uh, I think the only movie he's done that I've actually seen is the 2016 remake of Pete's Dragon, which wasn't half bad, but it was very much not like this movie. The movie was supposed to premiere way back in March of 2020, but was delayed for obvious reasons. And this actually worked in Lowry's favor, as he was not really happy with the theatrical cut at that time, and this gave him the time to go back into the editing room and polish the film. I have not read the poem on which this movie is based, at least not in its entirety, but I am familiar with the story, so I had a little bit of an idea what to expect here. And were I in Gawain's shoes, I would take a very different approach to the Green Knight's challenge, because my thoughts would be on the return blow that I have to take in a year's time. So basically, I'm just going to take the sword and go... Poke. Okay, see you next Christmas. But of course, with my luck, one year later, I would go to the Green Chapel and take the exact same poke from the Green Knight, and being that it's the Middle Ages and everything is filthy, that cut would get infected and I'd probably die anyway. And this is why they will never make a movie about me. But anyway, the movie takes a bit of a different approach compared to the poem. It adds a few details to Gawain's journey, and without giving too much away, it also plays with the ending a bit. Characters from Arthurian lore like Morgan Le Fay and Merlin are in the movie, but are never mentioned by name, I don't think, which was an interesting choice. Even the king, I think, is never actually referred to as King Arthur. He's just the king. It is still largely faithful to the source material, while at the same time deconstructing it. This version of Gawain seems to be in love with the idea of being a knight, and all the prestige that comes with knighthood, but he's not very good at living up to the actual ideals and virtues and the rules of chivalry. He thinks as long as he can do this one great deed, it will magically make him an honorable man. Spoiler alert, doesn't work that way. That's not really a spoiler, that's just how the world works. And Dev Patel is really good in this role. I can't imagine anyone doing a better job. Likewise for Ralph Ineson, who plays the Green Knight. That voice is just so haunting. It's perfect. Lowry gets really creative with the details of Gawain's journey. Uh, the Green Knight in this version of the story is basically an Ent. The color green is often used to symbolize nature, and in this case, he literally is nature. And there's all sorts of other weirdness going on with giants and ghosts and talking animals. And the ending, again, I don't want to give too much away, but that was a mind fuck and a half. And I also want to give credit to Daniel Hart, who did the score for this movie. He has worked with Lowry before. It is at times very majestic and in other times foreboding. There are bits early on where the strings are doing this like seemingly random pizzicato like the orchestra is attacking the audience almost and that's when i knew this guy was a good composer because it takes great skill to make something sound random when it's not and if the academy does not give him an oscar nomination screw him my only real gripe with the movie is the part where gawain basically puts his journey to the green chapel on pause as he comes upon the Lord's castle and spends a couple of days there, because it basically felt like the movie had been put on pause. There was nothing in that sequence that was necessarily bad, it just felt slow. But overall, I really like this one. This was a very clever take on this classic story, and I think Lowry did a fantastic job. I would say it's worth seeing in a theater if you can do so safely. If you can't, A24 will be streaming it online, for one night only, 
on August 18th. And yes, that is how they spelled night. And that's all I have to say about the Green Knight. Till next time, take care.